Well, good morning, my beautiful friends. We are going to do something slightly different today, yet again, because I feel like it's important. Something has happened, and I wanted to let you guys know. It's not to me personally, but it's to someone that I care about, to someone that I think a lot of you guys care about. When I initially went through my surgery, so many people commented on my Instagram, hey, you need to follow Amy Purdy. Have you heard of Amy Purdy? A lot of you commented on Instagram. And at that point, I'll be honest, I hadn't. I hadn't done a ton of research into public fellow amputees. When I did look into Amy Purdy, she is amazing and really inspired me. I don't use the word inspired very often. I feel like it's thrown around too much. But this is someone who really, really has brought a lot of inspiration and motivation to my life. I feel like the easiest way to describe Amy is that she's just a genuine badass. She lost both of her legs below the knee due to men meningococcal meningitis. I think that's how you say it when she was 19. She also lost her kidney function and lost a spleen. In the aftermath of that, she went on to actually win the 2014 Sochi Paralympics in snowboarding because she designed her own snowboarding legs. Designing your own legs is one of the coolest things I can think to do. Now, the reason I'm bringing Amy up today, though any day would be a good day to bring her up because she's freaking awesome, is that she's in the hospital right now. Back on February 24th, she posted this. She was asking for prayers because she had developed a serious blood clot from her knee to her hip. That's a really, really big and dangerous deal, especially when you don't have super well-functioning kidneys. She did receive a kidney transplant from her dad, which is really, really amazing. Dad was a perfect match, and the week of my 21st birthday, we underwent the first laparoscopic kidney transplant in Nevada. When most people are celebrating their 21st with shots of tequila, I was celebrating mine with shots of immune suppressive medication and morphine. But with the kind of surgery she was facing, it was basically choose your leg, the rest of your leg, the leg you have remaining, or choose sacrificing the kidney that your dad gave you. So basically, in her own words, there's a risk that to try to save my leg, we are risking my kidney. She said in this post that she's more scared than she's ever been, that she's cried from the depths of her soul, that her husband's seen signs of her that he never has before. And I can't imagine the kind of fear, I mean, I can to some extent, the kind of fear you must be facing in that kind of situation. On February 26th, she posted that surgery had really gone well. They chose to focus on saving her leg, you know, focusing on that blood clot, and everything went generally okay with the kidney. But, but then two days ago, Amy posted that she found out that things actually didn't go so well. Blood flow to her lower leg is currently blocked. So she said that they met with a new surgeon. He has some hope. He wants to try a new procedure, and they're gonna try that on Monday. Now, today is Friday. And I wanted to get this information out to you guys. If anyone is a praying person or wants to send good vibes her way or send her a positive message on Instagram, I will link her information down in the description down below. Please do so. She really is an amazing person. It's been funny to me this morning, the more that I have immersed myself in learning about her and learning about her life and listening to more of her talks, how similar we are. Quick note from Editing Joe, I'm going through this footage and I realized I did not, I made it sound like we're like the same person. No, uh, I mean that I, I look up to her, like I aspire to be in so many ways who she is because our interests are like in the same place. I didn't mean like we're the same person. You know what I mean? Like she's not the finished version, but she's way further along a very similar path that I desire to be on, if that makes sense. A lot of our aspirations and our inspirations are in the same places. She's big into public speaking. I love public speaking. That is what I aspire to be, aspire to do. That's what I've wanted to do for a very long time. She's super athletic. I am super athletic. I can't wait to dig my teeth into jitsu and hiking and just the gym in general and the part of her story that really, really connected with me in a video that I found of her a little while ago that just unbelievably cool for me to see is that she dances. I didn't know if I would be able to ever dance again. And let me clarify, I am not a talented dancer. I've never taken a dancing class past the age of like five, but I love it. It just brings me so much joy. And I was actually wondering the other week, I was like, I wonder if that's something that I could ever do again and like look okay doing, or would I just be super awkward? I wonder if you can ever like actually get graceful or anything with it. And then I found this video. She was actually on Dancing with the Stars and looked amazing. I can buy my tongue. I can dance and play the part. That's what you ask Give you all I am I can do it But I'm only human 
like seriously just gorgeous and then this was i believe the semi-final round where she used her running blades as her feet for dancing and looked perfect I love that she talks about the ups and the downs. I don't think she's a very rose-colored picture kind of speaker. You know, those inspirational speakers that never talk about the actual bad sides of anything and make it sound like everything was basically easy. They were so painful and so confining. That day, I went home, I crawled into bed, and this is what my life looked like for the next few months. Me passed out, escaping from reality, with my legs resting by my side. I was absolutely, physically, and emotionally broken. In order to move forward, I had to let go of the old Amy and learn to embrace the new Amy. She talks about the rough sides, and I appreciate that. In so many ways, she is what I aspire to be and holds the attitude that I want to hold on to, that I want to be. And so I really feel for her during this time and I will be thinking of her and praying for her. And I wanted to ask you guys to do the same. Like I said, if you're a praying person or if you just want to send good vibes her way or comment on one of her posts that you're thinking of her or wishing her well in her surgery, I think that that would be awesome. If we can just send some love her way, that would be great. I also just wanted to kind of tell you about Amy because I think she's great. I think she's really cool. I'm looking forward to reading her book. I think it's called On My Own Two Feet which is funny. I know that a lot of people who listen to me might be interested in listening to her. So I've linked some of her speeches below, some of her talks. I really liked when she sat down with Lewis Howes of School of Greatness. That was an awesome hour and 17 minute conversation. I think we all want to make a difference in the world somehow. Like we all have mm -hmm. a drive to actually just to do something and live a fulfilling life and hopefully positively affect people. Right. And now I'm doing that. Uh, because of what I went through. In response to that clip, you definitely have positively affected people. You've positively affected me, Amy, and I wanted to thank you for everything you have done. And I have not even tapped the surface of it, but you've definitely given me hope and inspiration and helped me keep my head on the right way on days where it wants to fall off. So check that out, check her stuff out. Wish her good luck on her surgery on Monday, and that's basically all I had today. Let's let her know that she's definitely not alone. We have our fingers crossed for you, Amy. I hope everything goes well on Monday. And to all of you listening, I hope you have a wonderful start to your weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. What inspires and motivates you? Seeing people live their purpose. Yeah. Seeing people who are passionate about what they do live their purpose, because that feels like you can do it as well. Mm -hmm.